Have you ever wondered how a nation's history can be etched in stone, whispered through the wind and reflected in the shimmering waters of a mighty waterfall? Welcome to Zimbabwe, a land where every grain of sand has a story to tell. Zimbabwe's tale begins in the Iron Age, a time when ancient tribes settled in the region, leaving behind a legacy that would echo throughout the centuries. Among these early inhabitants were the Bantu-speaking Shona people, who would go on to construct the awe-inspiring stone city of Great Zimbabwe in the 11th century. These intricate structures, crafted with an architectural prowess that defies explanation, bear silent witness to a civilization that flourished long before the advent of modern technology. Fast forward to the 15th century, the Roswe Empire rose to prominence, dominating much of southern Africa. The empire's influence can still be felt today, in the customs, traditions, and spiritual beliefs of the Zimbabwean people. The 19th century saw the arrival of the Ndebele people, led by the formidable King Mzilikazi. Their rich culture, characterized by vibrant art, music, and dance, added a new layer to the already diverse cultural tapestry of Zimbabwe. The dawn of the 20th century brought with it the winds of change as Zimbabwe fell under British colonial rule. It was a period of struggle, of longing for freedom, that culminated in the country's independence in 1980. Today, Zimbabwe stands proud, a testament to its resilience and the indomitable spirit of its people. But Zimbabwe is not just a land of historical marvels. Mother Nature too has bestowed upon this country her choicest blessings. From the thunderous roar of Victoria Falls, known locally as the smoke that thunders, to the tranquil beauty of Lake Kariba, Zimbabwe's natural wonders are as diverse as they are mesmerizing. The Hwange National Park, home to a plethora of wildlife, offers a glimpse into the untamed heart of Africa. Here, elephants, lions, and a host of other creatures roam free, untouched by the hands of time. Zimbabwe's culture is a vibrant fusion of its historical influences, from the hypnotic rhythms of Shona music to the soul-stirring performances of Ndebele dancers, every beat, every movement tells a story of a people deeply connected to their roots. Zimbabwean cuisine, too, is a delightful blend of traditional and contemporary flavors. From the staple sadza, a cornmeal porridge, to the delicately spiced meat dishes, every meal is a culinary journey that reveals the country's agricultural abundance. In conclusion, Zimbabwe's history, culture, and natural beauty are intricately intertwined, each a thread in the rich tapestry that is this nation. From the ancient ruins of Great Zimbabwe to the thundering Victoria Falls, each element tells a tale of resilience, of unity, and of a deep, abiding love for the land. So ponder on Zimbabwe, a land that whispers tales of yesteryears through its ancient stones, sings songs of unity in its cultural rhythms, and paints pictures of untamed beauty in its natural landscapes. A land where every grain of sand has a story to tell, and every story is a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. Have you ever wondered how the natural beauty of the world can take your breath away, or how ancient civilizations with their sophisticated knowledge and skills have shaped the world we live in today? In the heart of Southern Africa, where Zimbabwe and Zambia share a border, lies a spectacle of nature's grandeur. Victoria Falls, known as Mosi Oatunya, or the smoke that thunders in the local Lozi language, the falls present a spectacle of awe-inspiring beauty and grandeur. Formed about two million years ago, Victoria Falls is the result of the Zambezi River carving its way through basalt rock and plummeting into a deep chasm. This powerful river, the fourth largest in Africa, stretches over 2,600 kilometers, serving as a lifeline to millions of people and a diverse range of flora and fauna. Victoria Falls isn't just a feast for the eyes, it also offers an array of activities for the adventurous at heart. From white water rafting on the mighty Zambezi River, bungee jumping from the Victoria Falls Bridge, to taking a helicopter ride for a bird's eye view of the falls, the options are endless. The Zambezi River itself is steeped in history. It has been a vital source of sustenance for local tribes and a route for explorers and traders for centuries. Its waters have fed civilizations, its course has determined settlements, and its majestic beauty has inspired countless tales and legends. Now travel southwards from the Zambezi River and you will encounter remnants of another testament to human ingenuity and resilience, the ruins of Great Zimbabwe. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this ancient city stands as a symbol of a civilization that thrived from the 11th to the 15th centuries. 
Great Zimbabwe, once the capital of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe during the country's late Iron Age, showcases the architectural prowess of its builders. The city was built with a sophistication and an understanding of geometry that can still impress today. The Great Enclosure, the largest pre-colonial structure in sub-Saharan Africa, is a testament to this advanced engineering. The city's ruins bear silent testimony to the organized society of the time. With areas dedicated to different functions such as the royal palace, the sacred enclosure and living quarters, it's clear that the city was the hub of a thriving culture and economy. To summarize, Victoria Falls, the Zambezi River and Great Zimbabwe are priceless treasures of Zimbabwe. They represent the country's rich natural beauty and its proud historical legacy. Victoria Falls, with its awe-inspiring beauty, offers a myriad of adventure activities. The Zambezi River, a life source and historical route, has shaped the region in profound ways. And Great Zimbabwe, a reflection of an advanced ancient civilization, continues to inspire with its architectural marvels. In the grandeur of Victoria Falls, the mighty course of the Zambezi River, and the silent stones of Great Zimbabwe, we see the remarkable interplay of nature's splendor and human resilience. These landmarks serve as reminders of our shared history and our enduring connection to the natural what world. What compels the human spirit to seek solace in the embrace of the natural world? Is it the vastness of the skies, the ageless whisper of the wind, or the silent stories etched into the very rocks beneath our feet? Our journey today takes us to Matobo National Park in Zimbabwe, a place where the spiritual and physical landscapes intertwine. Matobo, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a tapestry of granite hills and ancient rock art, a testament to humanity's age-old quest for meaning. The park is home to the Nyalele Shrine, a spiritual epicenter for the local people, and the burial site of Cecil John Rhodes, a symbol of the colonial past. These sacred hills, with their vast and silent beauty, have long been a sanctuary for those seeking spiritual enlightenment. The park is also a living museum where the past and present coexist. Its rock formations bear witness to the passage of time, and its ancient rock art tells stories of humanity's spiritual journey. The rock art, estimated to be over 13,000 years old, is a testament to the enduring spiritual connection between the people and the land. But Zimbabwe is not just a spiritual landscape frozen in time, it is also a land of vibrant cities and modern life. Harare, the capital, is a city that pulses with energy. Its skyline, a blend of modern architecture and colonial-era buildings, paints a picture of a city in constant evolution. The city is a melting pot of culture and tradition. The National Gallery of Zimbabwe, with its vast collection of contemporary and traditional art, is a testament to the city's dynamic art scene. The Harare Gardens, the city's largest park, is a green oasis amidst the urban hustle and bustle. The contrast between Matobo and Harare is striking. One is a spiritual sanctuary, where the natural landscape echoes with the whispers of the past. The other is a city of the future, where modernity and tradition coexist. Yet both embody the spirit of Zimbabwe, a country that is as diverse as it is beautiful, as forward-looking as it is rooted in the past. From the sacred hills of Matobo to the bustling streets of Harare, our journey has taken us through the heart of Zimbabwe. We've explored the spiritual significance of its natural landscapes and the modernity of its capital city. Each place with its unique features and history adds a new layer to our understanding of this fascinating country. As we end our journey, we are left with a deeper appreciation of how landscapes can shape our spiritual journeys and how modernity and tradition can coexist in harmony. Whether in the silent beauty of Matobo or the vibrant energy of Harare, the spirit of Zimbabwe is a testament to the enduring power of place and the human spirit's quest for meaning. Have you ever pondered the delicate balance between human ambition and nature's resilience? How can man-made marvels coexist with the wild and what happens when they don't? Today we delve into the heart of Africa to unravel the stories of Huangue National Park and Kariba Dam. Imagine stepping into a world where nature thrives in all its untamed glory, a world teeming with wildlife, and a silence only broken by the trumpeting of elephants or the roaring of lions. This is Huanga National Park, one of Africa's largest game reserves. Spanning over 14,000 square kilometers of land, this park is home to over 100 species of mammals and 400 species of birds, making it a true biodiversity hotspot. But the splendor of Huanga National Park is not without challenges. 
Poaching and human-wildlife conflict pose significant threats to the park's inhabitants. The park's management, however, has been relentless in their efforts. Through well-coordinated anti-poaching initiatives, community engagement and ecotourism, they are striving to maintain the balance between wildlife conservation and human needs. Now, let's shift our focus from the depths of the wilderness to the heights of human ingenuity. Enter the Kariba Dam, a man-made marvel that straddles the mighty Zambezi River. Stretching over 100 meters high and nearly 600 meters long, the dam is an impressive testament to human achievement. It has created Lake Kariba, the world's largest man-made lake by volume, providing a lifeline for local communities through fishing and hydroelectric power. Yet this symbol of human triumph is not without its environmental repercussions. The creation of Lake Kariba has significantly altered the local ecosystem, impacting wildlife and causing occasional seismic activity. The dam's management, however, is not standing idle. They are constantly working on water management and sustainability initiatives to mitigate these impacts and ensure the dam's longevity. So what have we learned today? We've journeyed through the wild terrains of Huanga National Park, witnessing the resilience of nature and the tireless efforts in wildlife conservation. We've marveled at the colossal Kariba Dam, appreciating the heights of human ingenuity while acknowledging its ecological impact. Both these stories remind us of the delicate balance between human ambition and nature's resilience. They underscore the importance of sustainability in our endeavors, whether we're safeguarding wildlife or harnessing the power of water. They remind us that our actions, no matter how grand or small, have consequences. And they urge us to tread lightly, act responsibly, and strive for harmony with the natural world around us. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, we're all part of this incredible interconnected world. Have you ever wondered how cultural diversity shapes the world? How the traditions of a single country can reflect a rich tapestry of human experience? Today, we venture into the heart of Southern Africa, to Zimbabwe, a country known for its stunning landscapes, wildlife, and most importantly, its vibrant and diverse cultures. Zimbabwe boasts of more than 13 ethnic groups, each with its own unique traditions and customs. The Shona people, making up around 70% of the population, are the most prominent, followed by the Ndebel. Despite their differences, these groups share a common thread, a deep-rooted respect for their cultural heritage. Dances and ceremonies form a significant part of this heritage. The Shona people, for instance, perform the Mbende Jerusarima dance. This spirited, fluid dance, recognized by UNESCO as a masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity, is more than just a dance. It's a celebration of life and community. The Ndebele people, on the other hand, showcase their history through the Ndlamu, a warrior dance that tells tales of bravery and valor. In Zimbabwe, stories aren't just told, they're lived and passed down through generations. Oral traditions and storytelling play a key role in preserving the past. Every tale, every proverb, every song carries with it a piece of history, a lesson, or a moral shaping the cultural and social fabric of the community. Language, in Zimbabwe, is a cultural cornerstone. English, Shona, and Sindibele are the official languages, each serving as a unique medium of expression. They are not only tools for communication, but also vessels carrying the richness of Zimbabwe's cultural diversity. For a taste of this linguistic richness, one might learn to greet in Shona, Moro, or in Sindibele, Sawubona. So, what does all of this tell us about Zimbabwe's culture? It tells us a story of unity and diversity, of a people deeply connected to their roots, of a society that cherishes its past while embracing its future. It's a narrative of resilience, strength, and above all, a celebration of cultural identity. From the rhythmic dances and vibrant ceremonies of the various ethnic groups, to the rich oral traditions and diverse languages, Zimbabwe's culture is a testament to the country's rich history and its dynamic people. It's a journey into the heart of human experience, where every dance step, every word, every story, paints a vivid picture of life in this beautiful part of the world. In the grand tapestry of human culture, Zimbabwe's threads are vibrant and strong, woven with the stories, dances, and languages of its people. 
It's a testament to the power of cultural diversity and traditions, and a reminder of how they shape our world. So, next time you think about culture, consider Zimbabwe, a country where heritage is lived, celebrated, and passed down through generations. Imagine the tantalizing aroma of a bubbling pot, the heart of a Zimbabwean kitchen, where a dish of sadza, a staple food made from cornmeal, is coming to life. This humble yet versatile dish, often paired with a variety of proteins and vegetables, is the cornerstone of Zimbabwean cuisine. Now picture a glorious stew, Mazondo. Slow-cooked beef trotters that melt in your mouth, rich in flavor and steeped in tradition. It's a delicacy that tells a story of resourcefulness and resilience, a testament to Zimbabwean culinary ingenuity. And then there's Dovi, a rich and creamy peanut butter stew often served with sadza. It embodies the zest and depth of Zimbabwean flavors, weaving a tale of regional influences and agricultural practices that have shaped the nation's cuisine. Zimbabwean meals are more than just food. They are a communal experience. Traditional cooking methods, often over an open fire, encourage conversation and bonding, strengthening the fabric of community. From the kitchen, we journey to the vibrant world of Zimbabwean arts and music. The soul-stirring sounds of mbira, a traditional instrument often referred to as the thumb piano, echo through the air. This melodic genre has roots in ancient times but continues to inspire contemporary Zimbabwean music. Sungura, another musical genre, is a rhythmic dance music deeply ingrained in the nation's cultural identity. It's a sound that transcends borders, making its impact on the global music scene and showcasing the dynamic creativity of Zimbabwean artists. Cultural festivals, like the Harare International Festival of the Arts, serve as a grand stage for this rich tapestry of music, arts, and cuisine. These celebrations not only entertain but also foster unity, preserving and promoting the diverse cultures of Zimbabwe. In summary, Zimbabwean cuisine, with its distinct flavors and communal cooking traditions, is a testament to the country's rich heritage and resourcefulness. The music, from the timeless notes of Mbira to the lively beats of Sangura, mirrors the nation's spirit and creativity. Together, they form a vibrant narrative of Zimbabwean culture, a captivating symphony of taste, sound, and community. Imagine a place where every turn unveils a piece of ancient history where the whispers of a thousand generations echo through the majestic landscapes and where cultural diversity paints a vibrant picture of life. Welcome to Zimbabwe, a land of unbroken traditions and untamed wilderness. The story of Zimbabwe is a chronicle of resilience and transformation. Long before the advent of modern civilization, this land was home to the sand bushmen, the earliest known inhabitants. Fast forward to the 11th century and the rise of the kingdom of Mapungubwe marked the dawn of a new era. This was a flourishing civilization known for its sophisticated trade networks and intricate stone architecture. As the centuries rolled on, the kingdom of Mutapa came to prominence, leaving behind a rich legacy of cultural traditions and customs. Yet the most significant chapter in Zimbabwe's pre-colonial history was the establishment of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe in the 13th century. The awe-inspiring stone structures of Great Zimbabwe stand today as a testament to the architectural prowess and ingenuity of these ancient people. The arrival of the British in the late 19th century signaled a period of colonial rule that would last for over 90 years. But the spirit of Zimbabwe could not be quelled. The struggle for independence was marked by the courage and determination of figures like Robert Mugabe. His leadership in the fight against colonial rule led to the birth of an independent Zimbabwe in 1980. Since gaining independence, Zimbabwe has faced numerous challenges but has also achieved significant milestones. The journey of nation-building is a complex one, marked by moments of triumph and trials. The resilience of the Zimbabwean people continues to shape the country's progress, creating a vibrant blend of tradition and modernity. Now, let's turn our attention to the practical aspects of exploring this fascinating country. Obtaining a visa for Zimbabwe is a straightforward process, with most nationalities able to secure one upon arrival. The country boasts a well-maintained network of roads, making it easy to navigate between cities and attractions. When it comes to cultural etiquette, respect for elders and traditional customs remains paramount. 
Remember, Zimbabwe is a diverse nation, so what may be acceptable in one region may not be in another. It's always best to observe and follow local customs. Zimbabwe is a treasure trove of natural and historical wonders. From the thundering majesty of Victoria Falls to the sprawling wilderness of Hwanga National Park, there's no shortage of breathtaking sights. Don't miss out on exploring the ancient ruins of Great Zimbabwe, a monument to the architectural brilliance of the country's ancestors. And so we conclude our journey through Zimbabwe, a land where ancient civilizations meet modern aspirations. This is a place where every stone tells a story, every landscape holds a secret, and every tradition weaves a tale. From its diverse cultures to its historical landmarks and natural wonders, Zimbabwe is truly a world unto itself. Thank you for joining this journey through Zimbabwe. Remember, each visit is an opportunity to explore, learn and appreciate the rich tapestry of history, culture and natural beauty that this country offers.